Oh, oh, the emperor here. Oh, your hat? What? Your hat? Okay, okay, hold on. Okay. Oh, you you look all busted up. What well, Lemper? He beat the lemon heck out of you. What happened? I don't know what happened. How was I supposed to know what happened? He cheated. He pulled my trunks. He pulled my air. He pulled the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Good heavens. Well, Lamper, you have to face him again tonight here in Modesto. You don't look like you're in 100%. What do you plan to do in this match? What I plan to do in this match is what I plan to do in all my matches, Joe Castle. If I'm getting my uh, pasting, I will retreat with the cavalry. If I'm on the attack, I will charge with the infantry. Elon, vive la France. Oh, my head is aching and all as well as my delicate back and it's all your fault Joe Castle. I, I had nothing to do with it. He he beat the living heck out of you last night. I, I, I can't do anything. I'm sorry. Well you were sitting there by ringside spouting off some nonsense about my mother missing her Matlock episodes and when we, if you know perfectly well it was Dr. Phil. Oh my head is splitting uh, Joe. Oh uh, Lamper all I know is tonight it's, it's do or die. You have to win this matchup after all the losses in the past and overseas. Losses in the past? Overseas? No one oversees me. I am on top of things. I am well on top of you, Mr. Valentine. You may be a Hall of Famer for the WWF. You may be the greatest inter... 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 Intercontinental. How do you say it? Intercontinental. Comment ça va? Intercontinental? No. Inter... Comment ça va? Intercontinental? Okay. Ca no, K? Okay, no, no. E-I with an I. Intercontinental. Oh, I intercontinental. Not in continent joke, Chateau. I'm not there yet. I'm only 42. Uh, 27, pardon. Now, you are the greatest intercontinental champion of all time. Oh, no. That's, that's a honky tonk. <laughs> I apologize to my fans there. Uh, where's Joe Chateau now? Where's Joe Chateau? Give me that microphone. Will you hold this for a moment? Here, just put my hat on. Put my hat on. All right. No, 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 no. Put my hat on your head. No, put your hat. No, put my hat on my head. Okay. Do you notice anything wrong, Joe Castle? Anything out of place at all? Yeah, I'm getting a headache from your talking. Never mind that. Look at the way my hat is. Put it the right way, idiot. Joe Chateau, you are about this close from getting Hupsing's nunchucks in your nether regions. Now, now, we don't have to go there. Now, now put now. the hat on the way it's supposed to be. Okay, okay. Idiot. Okay. Right there. That's better. Now tonight, you are not going to make a fool of me, Monsieur Valentine. There is nothing funny about that. Joe Chateau. It looks like a sombrero. Sombrero, indeed. Tonight, great. Tonight, oh my elegant head. Tonight, Greg Zahama Valentine, I will apply my coup de gras and pin you, Monsieur. Say it, Joe Chateau. On to toi. No, it's on du toi. Say it properly. On du toi. Oh, I should have left you hanging in Spain. Au revoir. Au revoir. The Emperor, tonight, Modesto. Oh, listen to that, Dave. That can only mean one thing. Now, listen here. You are about to be in the witness of royalty. Oh, a chorus of booze for France's most cunning athlete as he makes his way to the ring. We have no respect for elegance, royalty, and cunningness. Well, I'm glad you said that, Dragon Dave. What an opponent. What a foe to have here. From Versailles, who's known as France's most cutting athlete,
Watching Greg the Hammer Valentine as I was a, when I was a kid, you know, a long time ago. Couldn't be that long ago. Valentine looks to be well, a seasoned veteran. Seasoned. Yeah, that's that's the apropos word here. Well, Emperor no spring chicken either, Dragon Dave. I know that in the uh, record books he claims to be only 27 in metric years. You know, I've always admired the French. Good people. Good people. Well. I, I'm sure that the French are good people. I'm not sure that this particular Frenchman is one of them, Drag. Well, he is what I like to call a blue blood, something that you know nothing about. Well, he has a blue jacket anyway, and he seems to be having problems taking off that beautiful jacket, that Napoleonic tailored jacket there. I know he's very sensitive about that. Let me tell you something, that jacket probably costs more than you make in an entire year. Well, that could be true. I know Lamper always never at a loss for beautiful gear, but he's in there with a tough one, Greg the Hammer. Listen to that crowd. They're chanting Hammer. Hammer, I think they want, they want to see the hammer. Hammer, Lemper. But you know what? I have a feeling that tonight is Lemper's night. Well, it could very well be. Anybody can beat anybody else on any given night here in big time wrestling. Are we going to see a clean break here? We saw a clean break. My goodness. Oh, but Lamper's complaining about the hair. I think I saw the hammer pulling the hair of Lamper. You know what? The hammer, he's been known to uh, cheat in the past. Just ask Tito Santana. Tito Santana, another fantastic competitor. Boy, they had some matches, didn't they? For that Intercontinental title. There's a lockup now in the corner. Lamper already beginning to complain, and they haven't even hit the corner. There's a shot right to the jaw. You know, good for you, Hammer. No, that is unsportsmanlike conduct. The Hammer being the seasoned veteran that he is, he should serve as an as an example. Lamper almost pulled his own trunks off, complaining that Hammer had, well, pulled the trunks, let's say. I do not want to see that. What a foe, though. What a competitor to have against you in a match, that Emperor. We've seen him pull out some great victories, and now look at him biting the arm of Greg the Hammer Valentine to get out of that wrist lock. I think he was uh, uh, smelling the Hammer's uh, 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 forearm there. You mean his eau de trois, in other words. Well, whatever. Test of strength there. This is another place where Lemper usually shines. Strong guy. I think he's up against a brick wall, though, with Greg the Hammer. Well, let me tell you something. The, the Hammer is a uh, strong wrestler and um, very tough wrestler, too. Of course, it takes 15 minutes for the Hammer to warm up. Oh, and there's a nice boot by Lemper, and now he's on top. And let the gloating begin, folks. Here he goes. I'm going to tell the Hammer you said that. Well, I think the Hammer knows that. He's in the ring with him. 
Oh, Emperor up, Emperor down. Oh, on the fingers. Oh, that's 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 gonna smart. Now Emperor complaining. Emperor complaining. Referee's not sure what to do, and she's standing on the fingers of uh, Emperor. Oh my goodness, poor old Emperor can't get a break. Now, now what, what's this referee? What, what is she? The, is she the second team? Well, Emperor was pointing in another direction, trying to distract her, and she merely stepped over. Poor woman stepping all over men. Well, poor Emperor. We've seen him do this before, and he always comes out on the losing end of that battle. Oh, and there's a nicely placed knee. I think he's had enough of the hammer here. Forearm to the back. Elbow right on the back of the head. That'll rattle some brains. Nice whip in the corner. Reversal into the ropes. Oh, and a big chop. Down goes Lamperer. Oh, there's a body slam. Down goes Lamperer. Oh, and a clothesline, and? It looks to me like we're, in the, we're on the fifth minute mark now. And down goes Lamperer. Out to the floor. Looks like it's siesta time, or in his case, maybe his afternoon nap. No, 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 no. Lamperer is just biding his time. He's taking a breather. He knows exactly what he's doing. Well, the fans are real. You know, if he knows what he's doing, now look at this. Look at this. Taking a breather, sitting in a seat. Does he have a ticket for that seat? Let me tell you something. He could probably buy every ticket in that arena. That's true. You know, maybe maybe he did reserve an entire section for that purpose. I wouldn't put that past him, Dragon Dave. This guy really has it all. Brains, stamina, and most of all, skullduggery. And money, don't forget. It's all about the Euro. It's all about the Euro. All about the Mayo or the Euro? The Euro, get it right, Junior. Oh, look at this, he's taunting the crowd. Oh, the hammer's had enough of him and drives that big elbow right to the head of Lamper. Oh, what's this? Poor Lamper can't even buy a break, not even a drop of soda. Well, he, he should uh, check out all the wonderful uh, uh, merchandise in the concession stands. Well, I know that he, he sent one of his new servants out there and they came back with champagne that was domestic and Lamper didn't like it. It wasn't to his palate. Uh, by the way, uh, I'd like to uh, uh, say right here, take advantage of this opportunity right here to let everybody know about the wonderful DVD of Lamper. Great quality work. It makes a great stocking stuffer. Great, great stuff. Well, we're on the odd subject. There's Lamper ripping the eyes after not like being quite tall enough to uh, reach that test of strength. Now there's a snap mare, and now he's putting the boots to the hammer. Here we go, once Lemper gets on your case, that's it, baby, he knows what he's doing. Well, I'll tell you something, uh, what Lemper is doing, he's wearing the hammer down. He uh, looks like he's putting the hammer on the hammer. Oh, he might be doing that, uh, oh, he's making the hammer smile. That's very much flagrant violation right in front of the referee. And the referee's doing nothing about it, don't you think? Well, she counted to five, but it looked like she's giving a lot of leeway in this match. You've got a hardcore match coming up, and the referees are really gonna have to give a lot of leeway between Frankie Kazarian and the great Sabu. Oh, suplex coming up. I can't wait for that match. Oh, and a suplex delivered, but it wasn't to, the, to Valentine. It was too poor, Lamper. Lamper saying that his back is broken. Oh, hammer right on his case. Oh! Dragon Dave, Dragon Dave, are you okay? You look too, like you're cringing. Oh, let me tell you something. I, th I think Lamper should uh, uh, take a, 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 a five minute break here. I, th I think you should give it to him. I think he's gonna need about a week to recover from that chop. Could it be another one coming up? I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. Poor old Emperor. This is one of those moments where I wish I wasn't Lemperer. One of those moments. I spend weeks wishing I wasn't him. Now look at this, choking on the ropes. Typical Emperor tactics. He's got a five count, he's got a five count. He uses about four and three quarters every time. Now look at this. Concealing the headlock with a blatant choke. Amazing. And the referee, uh, you know, in the five count there. There's a nice cradle move. One, two. Hammer up out of it. 
Is that what we're saying? He's counting to three in French, I believe, but I I'm not sure if the referee here in Big Time Wrestling speaks French. Well, I don't even know what he was saying. He was saying, I believe, on du, on, on du trois, which is one, two, three in French. There's a roll up from behind. That could be it. One, two. Emperor out the back door. And oh, nails Valentine with a vicious elbow to the ear. Oh, my gosh. We haven't seen this out of Lambert. Now, what's always oh, mocking Honky Tonk? Look at this. Setting him up for that shake, rattle, and roll. If he slaps that on him, Dragon Dave, I think it's good night. Well, you know, uh, uh, there's another name from the past there, the uh, Hunky Tonk Man. There's the shake and the rattle. Oh, Valentine pulls the legs out, twists in the figure four. Oh, no, in the middle of the ring. Oh, poor Lamper. I think that's going to be the end of him. No way out of this one, and he asked for the bell. That's it, Dragon Day. I cannot believe Lamper gave up. Well, when it's, it's not in his character. Look at Valentine, rolls the referee over, so she, she can't see. Great skullduggery by Greg the Hammer Valentine, seasoned vet. You know, it's not in the character of the French to retreat and give up. It's just not in their character. I don't understand why Lemper gave up. It's not in their character. Not to retreat or give up. Neither. I think we had two world wars to prove that different uh, Dragon Dave, but uh, this victory, this victory is in the record books announced by Alan Bolte for the great Greg the Hammer Valentine. Good effort on the part of Lamper, always entertaining fellow, but again on the loser's share of the purse. Poor Emperor. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Hangs his head. It just wasn't his night. I cannot, uh, once again, I cannot believe Lamper tapped out, gave up. Not in the French, not in the character of the French to, to give up and retreat. It's not in their character. Emperor still complaining about a pull of the trunks, and now he's pulled his trunks halfway uh, up to northern France. It looks like all the way to Paris those trunks are going to go. Well, a loss for Lamper. <laughs> Thank you.